Hello friends, folks, and viewers. Trainer Charles here at Jazz OCR Athlete. Bringing to you today another tip on how to take a movement that you've been doing already and wake it up. So we're gonna wake up our plank. This is gonna be an advanced version of it. This is gonna be exercises that you could do at home right now with just the things you have uh, already and you probably don't have to buy any extra equipment, uh, which includes five pound dumbbells. You could also do a three pound dumbbell or a two pound dumbbell or two and a half or whatever you might have. But either way, this is a, a light dumbbell uh, movement, so be good with any of these. And of course, we all, we all know how to do planks. So we're gonna get into that full plank position, which is a push-up position. And in case you don't know, when we get into a push-up position, we create torque, meaning our hands are gonna be planted into the floor, and we're gonna twist those shoulders, externally rotate the shoulders, and make those elbow pits face forward. And that's how we create that torque. So think about driving your hands into the floor and splitting the floor apart without moving your thumbs, right? That's how we create torque. So it looks like this. So I'm kind of corkscrewing my hands into the floor, like I'm opening up a jar with my right hand and I'm closing the jar with my left hand. And I'm not actually moving them, but I'm rotating them. That's gonna allow my arms to uh, rotate outwards and create stability throughout the shoulder complex and your arms in general because when we do push-ups you want our elbows to go behind us and not on the side of us just as you saw when I did the dips. Okay so keep in mind when we do a plank there are four points of contact two hands two feet or two hands two knees and elbow and elbow two feet once you lift one point of contact from that floor we have to activate the core so much more, a lot, lot more. When you lift two points of contact off, uh, from the floor, then we activate the core even more. For example, here's one point of contact, right? Here's two points of contact, right? Creates, uh, we need a lot of stability to do that. And so we practice those things and we, create, and, and we can create stability. So that's one of the things you want to think about when you're doing these kinds of exercises. I want to go over a lot of this stuff here on this channel now, and we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. All right, so now we're gonna take these dumbbells. Uh, we're gonna get to that plank position here. Okay. And, the, and another thing you wanna make sure is that as opposed to a regular plank, where we have your feet together, we're gonna have your feet spread apart. This is gonna allow you to lift one arm and create some, some stability from the lower portion of the body and allow you to be able to come up without tipping over. If you were to put both feet in the center, it'd be a lot harder. So spread your feet out, create some stability, and um, and you'll see that the movement will be a little easier. Planks can be a little bit boring. We know that already. So how do we wake up our planks? Well, we just add a couple little extra movements to our planks. And so we're gonna add a push-up and then a single arm shoulder extension, which means we're just gonna do a front raise, a shoulder front raise. So here, Good thing about these smaller dumbbells that are kind of a hex shape, they have a flat surface to them instead of round so they don't roll. So you might want to consider that if you're going to go out and get some dumbbells to not get perfectly round ones so we can have a flat portion of the weight of the dumbbell. So, so it looks like that. Also, this is another great exercise because it's very versatile. Right? On a day that you do shoulders, you could also do abs. And this is a perfect way to incorporate, uh, to integrate uh, abs and, uh, and shoulders. Because if you're doing back biceps one day, chest triceps one day, and then the next day will be uh, shoulders and abs and legs, for example, this is a perfect ex exercise for that. Uh, and just like any time we lift one arm at a time, it's gonna incorporate more core activation. So that's another thing you wanna keep in mind. So try to do as many of those as you can. Obviously you can do no weights at all. You can just do arm, push up, arm, arm. So if you haven't seen this exercise, give it a try. Of course, if you just wanna improve your planks, we'll make another video on that. But if you're doing planks efficiently already, 
and you want to wake those planks up because you're getting bored, planks are one of the fundamentals of fitness, it's something we have to do all the time, then you might as well throw, throw some weight in there and it'll make a big difference. Thanks for uh, tuning in in this episode and don't forget to click subscribe and share and follow me and like me and all that. There's a whole bunch of new content coming up. I'm kind of revamping the way I do my page. It's not just about uh, what I do in the sport. I'm going, to, I'm going to cover a lot of the corrective exercise elements of what I do with my clients. I'm going to go over a lot of movements. I'm going to reintroduce you to the same movements you might be doing already and then making sure you're doing them correctly so you can injury proof yourself and to make sure we always take, take in mind of injury prevention. All right, so thank you again for tuning in. My name is Charles here at Jazz OCR Athlete, and I'll see you next episode.